Hello everyone, this is Aoi and welcome back to OnStars for a special New Year's scouting video. It is still New Year's where I live. It is um, 11.13pm on January 1st, so it still counts. And I was waiting to scout for this set, or I told myself that I wouldn't scout for this set unless I got the big luck prize in the uh, Omikuji lotto they have going on. So I got that today, so what that does, if you guys haven't been playing the game for a while, it gives you a double chance at a 5 star. So instead of a 1.5% chance, you get a 3% chance per roll. So it's not guaranteed, it does help. I used it last year and the year before and got a 5 star on different accounts, so I can vouch that it does work sometimes. However, I got the uh, prize on my side account last night, scouted, it was a two four-star pull. One of them was Mao, who was the four-star in the set, but it was his initial. So he trolled me pretty hard, and other than that I basically got no cards from the set. So that was a bust. I didn't record it. I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was a really bad scout. So we're gonna try again. And Ray and I have a notorious history because I have scouted for every one of his gotcha five stars multiple times. I have never gotten one. Not on this account, not on my side account, not on my Chinese account. Ray does not come home, and he is in my top five boys, so I would really love to have a gotcha five star of his. But um, up until now it hasn't happened, so I figured I will take all the extra luck I can get to see if it works. And I've put Ritsu on the home screen in the hopes that he will bring either his brother or, or his Makun home, so we'll see. But uh, let's get into the scout. Um, it's been a couple days since this came out, so you guys have probably seen these cards. <laughs> Excuse me. I know some people have complained about Ray's card being too much like the three-star he had in the one event in the summer. Obviously the art quality is better. He's got a, a falcon, I think. He's got a sword. It is a really nice card. So there's his outfit. Uh, there's Mao's. And after almost four years of this game existing, Mao finally has a card with his basketball outfit. So I would really like... Well, obviously I would really like Ray, but I really, really want Mao's card. Four star should have me a better chance of getting it. And the other one I really want, because to begin with, I did not know he would be in this gacha. And what they've done with the New Year's gachas for the past couple years is the cards aren't really connected with each other. They all have the same kind of theme, but they have individual stories. Um, so yeah, Mika <laughs> is in here. And uh, we all know Mika is my best boy, so... Honestly, what I want from this gacha, Mika's top priority, then Mao, then Rei. And that should be the chance I have of getting them as well. Uh, so, I don't have too much more to talk about. Let's just do it and see what happens and hope for something better than the last scout I did. Alright, no rainbow windows. Single four star. Or, or, you know, we could get a five-star clip. <laughs> Ray, Ray, did you have to do it that way? <laughs> of course he did. I mean, what, what other way would he come home? Thank you. I love you. Um, if you guys have read the story, they basically confirm that the Sakumas are not... Well, they are kind of vampires, but kind of not. Basically, they are humans who have vampirism, the entire family. So they have all the qualities of vampires, but they're not undead, they're not immortal, they're regular people who drink blood and can't be in the sun and get tired really easily, so basically they're vampires. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed right now because that I was not expecting him to flip, of all things, but thank you, Ray. Um, I guess that counted as a four star though, so we'll see if we get a if we get lucky with Mao. Mika! Yay! There's my son. Okay. <laughs> Double Mika. He's making it up to me for that last scout. Alright. Flip? Yes! <laughs> that flip was more expected. Um, I've had four stars flip before, never had a five star flip. This is a really good scout. Okay. And I got Sora on my other account, so <laughs> triple Mika. Um, if he wanted to come home here too, that would be that would be cool, but otherwise, if I get all the cards across two accounts, you know, I'm pretty happy. Wow. <laughs> My face is like really flushed right now, which is a weird thing to say when I'm scouting, but it's it's happening, so I think I'm just 
like I said, I'm overwhelmed that after almost three years of playing this game, I finally have one of Ray's gacha cards. And I love this card. I mean, look at the way he's leaning on Ritsu's shoulder. They're very sweet with each other in this in this story, which is nice to see considering their normal relationship. Um, I don't know what I can do with him. I'll see if I can uh, level 40 for the outfit. I don't think I have enough producer points. Actually, I do. Let's see how high we can get him up here. I won't be able to bloom him, but I think I'll be able to... Yeah, let's just go... We'll unlock the outfit, and uh, I will <laughs> get him into that, and probably use the background from the summer event, because it does fit it rather well. Alright, so let's go along here, and... Oh yeah, I guess I can talk about the current event while, while I'm doing this. Uh, so I haven't read too much of it yet, only the first half of the story's been released, but... It does feature Hokuto's father, who looks more like his older brother, which... You know, ages and ages in these games are often hard to judge. Most of the teenagers look like adults, the adults apparently look like teenagers, so there you go. But I am glad that we finally met him because they've talked about him a lot, and I am very glad that June finally has a 5 star, because Eve's been in the game, especially out of the Eden set, they've been in the game the longest, and he really deserved one. Uh, the bloomed one I'm not too fond of, the unbloomed one, they were going for the thirst factor, I think they achieved that, <laughs> but uh, there's there's the outfit, so we're gonna put him in that, and then we're gonna change to... Where was the summer background? It shouldn't be too far back here. Uh, this one. And I'll throw the night one on. There we go. Alright. And I'll take a look at Mouse Card, see if I can do anything with him. I might be able to unlock something, but if it's just the basketball outfit, that's not... It's not particularly exciting, but it is nice that he finally has it after all this time. Alright, so let's see... 30... Okay, so 30 is actually the one from this set, so I am gonna unlock that. If my producer points would go up properly. Alright, there we go. Okay. I know I've said this before, I really wish they had the auto-blooming that the Chinese version has. It is so much easier than tap-tapping every single one of these little nodes. But we'll get there. There we go. Alright, so we'll... We'll get him into that. Because he's on the Halloween background right now. There we go. Alright. Yeah, these are really nice outfits. Of course, I do wish the three stars would come with them so Mika would have it too, but... That's the way this game works, and I'm just happy <laughs> that I got both of these cards in that poll. Alright, uh, so yeah, we'll head back out to the main screen. There's there's Ray, who I'm very happy with right now. He made me wait, but I think it was worth it. And uh, I'm glad the luck up worked, and I hope that's indicative of what's to come in my scouting this year. So if you guys are scouting in this game for this set, or if you're trying for the, uh, the Omikuji prize, good luck, and... As always, we'll see what the next gotcha will bring, and I will see you then, so bye for now.